Teresa brought it to my attention a few minutes ago, y'all, that I have never made sweet tea on any of my videos. So I'm gonna share with y'all how I always made my sweet tea. And this is kind of like before the restaurant because I would make it a gallon, you know, for my family. And uh, we wouldn't drink it all at a meal, but you know, I'd put it in the refrigerator and we might get two days out of it. So to a gallon of tea, I would use four family size bags and uh, I'm funny about my tea. There's only one brand that I really like. And uh, I think it's like a Southern tea. I'm not sure. But uh, to make a gallon jug of tea, I would use four of these. Now I got them all twisted up, y'all. So this is the biggest pitcher I have in the house. So I'm going to... I'm gonna use three family size tea bags for that amount. And I'm gonna put these over in boiling water. And I'm gonna dip, dip, dip. And then I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it steep. You know, it depends on how busy I got during the day. You know, I might let it steep 30 minutes. I might let it steep three hours. And it didn't seem to, you know, make a difference. But uh, they don't pay me a thing, y'all. So <laughs> this is strictly, you know, what myself and my family loves. And we serve it in all of our restaurants, too. So uh, we like fresh mint in our tea. And we grew this in the yard, didn't we, Eddie? Yes. I can't remember whereabouts in the yard this is. Oh, uh, we've got, uh, we haven't found a in the ground spot yet. <laughs> oh, we hadn't, so it's in we a pot. We have a couple of, couple of pots <laughs> around the yard. <laughs> and of course, lemons. And look at this color of this lemon, y'all. That's a Meyer lemon, which is so good. I could just bite into them like an apple with salt. So, now to uh, a gallon mm. of tea. Seems like I use like a cup and three four, fourths, one and a one and three fourths cup of sugar for a gallon of tea. Now some people may not like it that sweet, so you just need to uh, make that according to your preference. Um, I might have used one and a half cups. I can't remember, but I do know that the longer your tea sits, the sweeter it gets. So I remember sometimes I'd have to add some water to it because it was just a little too, too sweet. So, um, that's strictly your call. So for this, I'm going to use about a cup. Or almost a cup. You know, <laughs> when I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, I said, well, I, you know, I got to try to help myself here. Uh, I would drink diet sodas in the morning when I got up. I didn't drink coffee. I wasn't a coffee drinker then. And at 11 o'clock, when we started lunch, uh, I switched to sweet tea. And I would drink sweet tea until I crawled in my bed. And I usually have my sweet tea glass sitting by my bed. So uh, I said, you know, this is something I can do. I'm uh, consuming so much sugar just in my, in my tea. So I put down the sweet tea and I started using, you know, diet sweet tea. I would use an artificial sweetener in my tea. And I've gotten used to it now, so it um, it tastes good to me now with the artificial sugar. But uh, some people make tea using, 
you know, they'll buy the big bags of uh, whatever kind of sugar substitute they care to have. And uh, they'll sweeten their tea with an artificial sweetener, which is fine too. It's, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So a lot of this is strictly your palate. So you would you would change this accordingly. Uh, some people like real strong, strong tea. So you might want to use more tea bags. Let's see what the directions say. See, that just calls for one tea bag for uh, a half a gallon. And see, I like mine. I like mine stronger. So if I was making a full gallon, I would have four family size tea bags in there. Oh, but since I'm making it in this pitcher, I have cut back. It's gonna be some good tea. So we'll let it steep maybe 15 minutes, or if I get busy, maybe 30 minutes. Okay, I probably let this steep, what, 15 to 20 minutes, would you say, Teresa? Yes, ma'am. And this water is still hot as blue blazes. But so that's good because that's gonna, no, I'm gonna do it right here, but thank you. Uh, that's all right because that hot tea is gonna melt my sugar. So there we go. And I take the back of the spoon and I press out every drop of that strong part of the tea bag. All right, so we're gonna just give it a stir. Let all that sugar dissolve. And like I said, it won't take but a minute. Teresa, I would like uh, lots, of ice. lots of ice. And get everybody else a glass too if y'all want some. Now I take my tea bags and I just cover them with cold water and enough to fill up my pitcher or almost fill it up. I just make sure I get off the goodie out of those tea bags, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> And like I said, the longer this sits, the sweeter it's gonna get. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it looks really, really dark. Yes. Is, is there a- That uh, orange pico, that yeah. pico, it's just good. Ooh, thanks, Therese. I know you like lots. I do, and this hot tea will melt that ice in two seconds. just, yes, in two seconds. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more. People don't really realize that there is a science to tea and that you do like steeping it, like boiling your yes. water and then steeping it That's separately. Because right. a lot of people think you put your bags in and let it boil and it gets better. Mm -hmm. No, I don't boil. I don't boil my tea bags. That's a pretty picture of tea, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if it's sweet enough. <laughs> that is so good. But, <laughs> <laughs> I did a scant cup of sugar. So I think it needs just a scant more. Yeah, just not much, but just, just a little bit. Just a little bit, not that much. Oh, that's a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Like I said, look at Eddie's face. <laughs> but like I said, all right, I've got to wash my spoon because I drank out of it. Um, so that was probably a, a full cup because like I said, I didn't fill my cup all the way full. I, I had never had sweet tea until, you know, I moved here to uh -huh. college. Uh -huh. And I remember, um, you know, in the dorms, we weren't supposed to have any microwaves, any hot pots or anything uh -uh. like that. And um, I think I had like a rice cooker. Um, but these that two so good. girls that I met from North Carolina in their room, they had a uh -huh. hot plate and they 
Made their tea. They made their tea every morning, and I remember going over there. Did they there. drink hot tea? No, oh, co- co- the, they made their sweet tea, and I thought it was the most amazing thing. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> what is the most amazing thing? Okay. Mm. Squirt of that Meyer lemon in it. And uh, if you come to any of our restaurants, you're going to get your tea with mint in it. So if you just put it up there, you're not going to get any flavor. In order to get the, oh my gosh, it smells so good. In order to get that mint flavor through your tea, you have to crush your leaves and that opens up the pores in your mint. It opens them up to release that flavor throughout your tea. So, here's to y'all. Here's to you. Go sit on the porch. And say, hey, (laughs) y'all. Y'all come on in and have a piece of cake (laughs) and a glass of sweet tea. (laughs) Love and best dishes. It could be a little bit sweeter. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.